Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another three body problem reaction. We are on episode three. Um, yeah, I missed an upload this week. Apologies, I had some stuff going on in real life, so I wasn't able to record or, or edit. So we're, yeah, we're doing this a uh, couple days late. I'll try to get an, an extra episode up on the weekend or something to, to compensate. Um, but yeah, so episode three, uh, first episode's really enjoying it. Um, like, like I was saying in the comments or in the discussions that we've done so far, um, yeah, the story the, the timeline that they're telling the story is a lot different than I um, than I saw in the Tencent version that I watched, which was like, from what I understand, was like, like a pretty close like adaption to the to the book. Um, so yeah, so the Netflix version is going a bit different in the way they're telling the story, which is interesting. But it's I'm really enjoying it, so it's working so far. That's good. Um, yeah, I think we'll just hop into it right off the rip. Um, yeah, I guess for any if any of you guys are watching this and you didn't see my other videos um i do refer to the tencent version a lot throughout of the, throughout this so if you don't want spoilers for like that or like i guess the book would be, it'd be a book spoiler too then probably don't watch this um at minimum don't watch this unless you finished watching the netflix netflix version because i don't want to spoil anything that might have happened um in the, in the in the netflix version so yeah um, yeah, let's just hop into it. Um, if you enjoy the video or if you're enjoying my videos, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment what you want me to check out, uh, and what I miss in the episode. And if you have an interest in, uh, sports or anything, I have another channel for sports reactions, so go check that out. It's in the description. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, episode three. CERN, okay, cool. Oh, there must be 30 dead scientists in the past couple months. Yeah. Another suicide? Hot suicide, huh? Oppenheimer's mistress died the same way. Mm -hmm. On her knees, head in a tub. I remember, remember that from the movie? Yeah, they kind of... Let me pause that. Yeah, in Oppenheimer, they kind of made it... They almost made it seem like she was... I guess that was... That's, that's, that's what they're referring to, right? I guess she... In like one in one scene, it looked like she was killing herself. And in another scene, it looked like she was being drowned. So that's... Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. Little reference there. Maybe she just needed a kind of mess of it of all was about to face. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict Wong is such a good casting for this guy, for the detective. No. They got their hands on it finally. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. Yeah, he's gonna go in it, right? Yeah. Okay, they're just doing the short in intro now. Well, I'll take your pick, but there's a Japanese toilet upstairs. Touchless. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> He's got different right. styles what of bathrooms. <laughs> They're at the house. <laughs> oh, he's all, he's all like a magazine cover and stuff. He has that on his wall. <laughs> it's hilarious. I guess he hasn't told anyone yet, other than Jack. Is she going to find the game, potentially? Because she doesn't know about it, right? <laughs> what is that? Is that Voldemort? Yeah, what else? Oh, is that the game? Yeah, she's gonna, oh, she's gonna put it on. I guess Vera and Jack haven't told them about it. Is it Captain America's shield in the reflection? <laughs> That's awesome. Is she gonna get offed or no? I feel like they probably won't kill her because she'll be. Is she gonna get murdered off the road? Not no, yeah. <laughs> That would be yeah, so fucking know. scary. I was in the fucking Middle Ages. Well, Tudor England. <laughs> no, it's like all my senses were telling me that I was there. That's nothing compared to the rehydrated people in level one. I just never thought I could get bored of nudity. You're playing this before she killed herself? Yeah. Now you're playing it? Yeah, why didn't they tell them? Make people want to kill themselves. This annoying brat that's constantly whining. Who oh, save me, save me. Because you're supposed to save her, idiot. That thing is hacking into your brain. You don't even want an Alexa in your house and you're playing with that. <laughs> I just came home one night, and it was right there. <laughs> so someone broke in and left it here. And then you were like, oh, I should put this on the edge. <laughs> I've got State of the Stars, Augie's Countdown, this video game. Yeah. No, virtual reality is indistinguishable from actual reality. About it for more than 10 seconds. Aliens. This thing was manipulating her or something. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm definitely not killing myself. My life's amazing. <laughs> You're gonna get one in the mail tomorrow, and then you'll be playing it too. Fine. <laughs> she fell asleep Stop. in it. 
The sword lady said we're supposed to use science <laughs> yeah. to save the next. <laughs> <My God. laughs> you spot. Yeah, what is a spot? Let's go. More game stuff. Okay. In my game. Mate, I've lived in England for twelve years. Maybe the game found something we're both familiar with. I don't like how it knows that. I better not have gone through my search history. <laughs> well, if we see a girl farting on a birthday cake, we'll know. <laughs> Copernicus! <laughs> Sir Francis! <laughs> Are you back to save the world? I hope so. We'd better hurry. Pope is about to make his decision. I remember them all. Ooh. Every time I died. Hmm. We'd better hurry. The only explanation for these observations is that this planet is part of a three-body star system. They said the word. They said it. Okay, our planet revolves around one of the suns in a stable orbit. Okay. That's a stable era. We wander through the gravitational fields of all three suns. Mm -hmm. That's a chaotic era. Burn her. No, 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 no. Oh shit. No, listen, she's got it right. This little girl is so annoying, I'm sorry. If I have to hear her say not ideal. Why are we not dead too? Because we were right. A level three time. Ooh, that looks so cool. The music here, I gotta pause it. The music that whenever the end of the level shows up, I think, yeah, the last time this had this scenario happened as well. This music that comes comes in right now, it reminds me of um, if anyone's seen the movie Annihilation with Natalie Portman. It reminds me of the music in that movie. It's like, yeah, it's really cool. Let me go listen to that soundtrack actually because it's such a good uh, soundtrack and movie. The little violin right there. Civilization number 152 was destroyed by a tri-solar day. But in this civilization, you have successfully revealed the basic structure of the star system. It's got a retinal scanner, an oxygen meter, and a brainwave sensor. So while you're playing the game, someone at the other end is playing you. It's a recruitment tool. They're going after our best and brightest. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's like sweating and stuff. <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> but maybe go easy on the science talk. Higher dimensions exist, but we can't perceive them because we're three dimensional creatures. Theoretical. <laughs> so theoretically, I've just eaten an entire universe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Such stories of the Cargill War. Oh, oh, no. yeah, go on, Dad. It's not dinner until oh. the Cargill War comes out. Back no. when you were a babe. Nice little dinner story. Oxygen and supplies from their camp. Back to my men. Put all out, did they? Oh, they told him. Okay. They come, they're just charging me tomorrow once the delay wears off. Yeah. I like the, I like oh, his yeah, coat. It was brilliant. His yeah, jacket. Had a lovely chat while I was under. Yeah, me and the count said. <laughs> oh right, is that a, is that a metaphor? No, we spoke. It turns <laughs> out that the count is not inherently evil. Just looking for a place to live. <laughs> like we all are, I suppose. But obviously, I said that's not all right with me. <laughs> I'm using my body at the moment. A deal. It gets to stay in its own little corner in my pancreas. And I keep all the rest. <laughs> Got a funny hat on. <laughs> he is high as fuck right now. Oh my god. We're on the precipice of being first to market with a unique nanofiber technology. And you slam on the brakes. None of this works without me. I don't wish to be harsh, but please remember, we sponsor your ILR. You can't stay in this country on a work visa if you're not working. Is she not from, where's she from? I didn't even realize, is she Spanish? Yeah, I'm assuming Spanish, maybe Italian. I don't know her, her, no, her name's Gonzalez, right? Spanish, maybe, maybe Mexican. As an assumption, I don't know. Is she gonna like sabotage 
or destroy it. Ooh. Just starting it back up to see if, okay, just seeing if the number, yeah. Jesus, that is horrifying. Jeez. She's gotta like involve like whatever program uh, Clarence is uh, the detectives with. She, he's gotta have them like just take take it over, shut it down that way. That's the only like yeah. Who's he call? Is this Colin Clarence? No. No white scientists were killing themselves. <laughs> Don't talk like that. I'm not gonna do anything. I just. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I told him that you just got dumped by your girlfriend. I'm a girlfriend. Oh shit. Level three. Okay. Supposed to be. Oh, this is the the crudest stately pleasure dome. The calculator thing. Awesome. This is a sick scene in the. Okay. We know we're in a Oh, it's uh, what's that guy's name? On the left there. Yeah, what is his name? Uh, I think that's him, right? From uh, he's like a writer or show creator for all that stuff. And he was in—I remember he was in Sherlock. Uh, he was Mycroft, right? Yeah, what's his name? For, I think he's involved in Doctor Who as well. Um, yeah, I've developed a science I call calculus to predict <laughs> the movement of the sun, and these calculations are performed by my great human abacus. That is crazy. Yeah. I didn't I didn't really understand how this works in the Tencent how version. Many soldiers are there? Jesus Christ. Of the men are mathematicians, of course, but... Run solar orbit computation software. Three body 1.0. So crazy. A chaotic era will commence in three days. It would last eight months. Followed by a stable era of ten thousand years. Okay. All right. Eight months and three days. Cool. Yeah, who's this guy? Oh. Did they figure it out? Not according to modern physics. They'd still need the starting parameters of all three bodies. Will you shut the fuck up, troll? Our computer works. Your calculations weren't true. Silence. Ah! Don't show them, please. Oh, nice. Look, yep. A syzygy. Syzygy. No They're eclipsing one another. The planet is no hotter than it was. I love that. That word syzygy is so cool. I use that for like. <laughs> yeah, that's. A, I love that word so much. I remember I first heard that word in um. The in the TV show The OA. If anyone's ever watched that, that was that show. A lot of people didn't like it. But that was like one of my favorite shows ever. I'm so mad they canceled it. But yeah, there is an episode called Syzygy. Or Syzygy? Syzygy? I don't know. Awesome word though. And the, yeah, the concept's really cool. Ooh, yeah, the gravity got all messed up. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, this. That's like hurts my ears to listen to her, me, her, me hear her say, save me. <laughs> it's so, it's so aggravating. It's not about solving the three body problem. Our goal is to save the people. The Count said survival is everything. That's mm. the object of the game to help them survive. Who is that the same lady? Yeah. Ooh, that looks so cool. The music again, man. I love this song so much. You have correctly determined your true purpose in the game. You have now entered level four. Nice. Yeah, I'm assuming this guy's just like a someone that works for Evans. Let's go like lower level person. Are they going to be on the boat here? Mr. Evans. Mm -hmm. Felix, sir, we have two new candidates for Region Six. Yes, have these two vetted for the London summit, sir. Apologies, my lord. Ooh. Now, oh, where was I? The tale of Hansel and Gretel. You said the boy Hansel was afraid. 
But the girl was not? Not at the moment, no. But why is one afraid while the other is not? Do individuals experience fear on their own? It's an individual emotion, yes. For us, fear is something we experience as one. Our ancestors were like that. Tiny mammals who survived by hiding. But it appears you have ceased to be afraid. Why do you say that? You contacted another planet. Is this the act of a timid species? Not a species, no, my lord. A woman. A singular, fearless woman. Are there other fearless humans? Well, they show up from time to time. And we often look up to them as inspirations for others to follow. A lack of fear leads to extinction. If your ancestors had followed the fearless, you would not exist. Humanity must learn to fear again. Mm -hmm. Then we will teach them. <laughs> okay, that that was cool. We didn't see that at all in the Tencent version, so I'm assuming that's from maybe book two, or it just wasn't covered in the Tencent version. So yeah, we we knew they that they were talking to them to my to the Lord, but we didn't know, like we didn't see scenes of Mike Evans specifically talking to them. Like, yeah, I forget how. Yeah, I think I think yeah we we never saw him actually talking like we never got to hear what he was saying to them, so that's interesting. Um, yeah, really cool scene, really cool having them uh, hearing that. I guess would be the the right word. Um, yeah. Also, the Lord's voice is very uh, very soothing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you can see why they probably chose it for uh, for human communication. Ooh. Ooh, it's her. Dr. Chung, Mr. Rooney, the only two people in the UK to make it this far. We've been so impressed by your work. Oh, cheers. And you, <laughs> Dr. Chung, you figured out that the home world is part of a three body system. The home world. We've not the planet, but it's people. This isn't next gen, this is five next down the line. So who are you really? It's a cool shot with her in the in the reflection again. Level four. Dr. Chung. Mr. Rooney. No computer can predict the behavior of three bodies indefinitely. Ooh. The three suns in the sky. Every civilization ends in chaos. It will eventually be a cataclysm from which we cannot recover. So cool. Our planet will be ripped in half. And when you know your planet is doomed, what is the solution? Find a new home. Correct. Our only chance of survival lies elsewhere. The moment we received the invitation to your world, we knew our destination. We built an interstellar fleet of a thousand ships. Jeez. They are the final hope of civilization number 9478. And they are on their way. Jeez. So cool. Most of us have to stay behind. But that's all right. If one of us survives, we all survive. You'll welcome us, won't you? We can't wait to meet you. <laughs> so creepy. They're all, yeah, they, they both realize it's real, right? Yeah. I don't quite understand. Are you trying to tell us that they're real? We call them the Sam T. Three, three people. buddy people in Chinese. And they all light years away, getting closer every moment. Look like that, like us. We took a few liberties <laughs> for your benefit. So you're trying to tell us that this game was designed by aliens? Think about it. You said yourself that the tech is a hundred years ahead of where we are. Oh, no, no, yeah, sure. You're amazing AI. This could be the only explanation that accounts for all of it. Isn't the most simple explanation usually the best? Occam's razor. Oh. If you don't want to be here, you're free to go. All right. It's good of you. Come on, Jin. Oh, come on. This is fucking mental. She's talking about aliens. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that's a fair um, reaction. I do hope you'll come. You must understand how the psalm to you feel. You were torn from your home too, weren't you? If you survive, 
they've survived. We'll mention it, Angela. Kind of worried about him right now. This seems a little weird. Do you to take him out because he had that reaction? That's uh, not good. Uh, what's about to happen? This is creeping me out. Ah! Wait, what? Who are you trying to reach? Get away from the window, buddy. I'm warning you. You said I was free to go. You were? All right, that's it. Get out of my house. <laughs> How is it not showing that it's... Get off me! <laughs> All you had to do was keep playing. Jesus Christ. Are his windows like... This is what Jesus. You oh, cool sound. Cut out sound check there. Jeez, well that sucks. Pretty, yeah. There. Yeah, pr pretty upset they killed uh they killed Jack. I was he was like my favorite character, so that's yeah, that's annoying. Um, okay, I wanted to rewind it though to this scene. Let me just quickly watch this scene. This scene was really cool. Apologies, my lord. Do individuals experience fear on their own? For us, fear is something we experience as one. But it appears you have ceased to be afraid. Why do you say that? You contacted another planet. A lack of fear leads to extinction. Mm -hmm. If your ancestors had followed the fearless, you would not exist. Humanity must learn to fear again. All right, that was Three Body Problem, episode three. Another really good episode, man. I'm loving this show. I feel like if I didn't know the, the Tencent version at all, or I didn't know the story at all, I'd be like, even more like just completely mind blown watching this as, as a big sci-fi lover um yeah seems really high quality i'd yeah, be curious to know how, how you guys feel if you haven't seen this, this show as your first like experience of three body problem because it's the ads i feel like it's really good they're doing a really good job uh adapting it um yeah i guess yeah highlight a bit highlight of the episode was definitely the, the conversation that uh mike evans was having with with the lord um or with lord is it just called lord i forget the lord no just lord i think right yeah um yeah that could that they, they didn't show that in the tense version at all him actually talking to lord so that is um yeah that was obviously a highlight i'm assuming that might be from book two or something where they actually show it um yeah really really cool the the whole like humans must learn to to fear again which yeah i guess yeah that, that actually has some logic to it like it's a, like like society or like humans as is, is like a as a as a species like there's so many things that could destroy us that we're just like don't give a shit about at all which is i mean we do like i mean well not everyone but a lot of people do but no one's really doing anything so yeah that's a that's a cool thing to to have there but then yeah jack jack dying was fuck he was yeah he was my favorite part of the show i think jack he, he added like some really good a comic relief so that that's gonna, gonna lose some comic relief from, from him not being there for the rest of the rest of the season and i guess the future seasons um yeah how did he not how, how is his yeah i guess they must have had some type of like film on the on the windows or something so that the detective couldn't see him because the glass broke right Either that was the detective's first time being there, so he didn't know that you couldn't see in, or they had some weird technology on the windows that prevented him from seeing that. Um, but yeah, I guess that won't be considered a... Like, they can't say that's a suicide, though, so I'm curious. Yeah, like, they'll know he was murdered, right? Because... Yeah, like, his, the glass was broken and he was stabbed, like, in the neck, so obviously that's not a suicide, right? So, unless someone comes and stages it after. Um... Yeah, so that that's interesting why they actually did that and didn't stage it as like a suicide because unless they do end up staging it, but because yeah, um, Jin would obviously know that he freaked out at the meeting and then like she would know that like they killed him, right? Like that would be pretty obvious, I think, right? So unless they just don't care, 
that she knows because she's already so into it that she wouldn't she doesn't actually care about stuff like that but no that wouldn't make sense i don't know we'll see you next episode i guess um but yeah really enjoying it let me know your thoughts uh especially for those of you that this is your first time experiencing three body problem really really curious uh to know what you guys' thoughts are um uh, my mom actually, she she watched the show, which was her first experience. I haven't, I haven't really talked to her about it yet because I, I didn't want to potentially spoil myself for the show. So, um, but yeah, I'm surprised she actually she like she said she really enjoyed it, but I didn't like talk too much in general about it. But yeah, I was kind of surprised because she's not usually a big sci-fi fan, and she's not a huge um, like science fan, I guess. Like. Yeah, but yeah, it's good she enjoyed it. Yeah, but let me know, let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, I'll try to get up the next episode up on for the weekend because I, I kind of messed up the, the upload schedule. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to keep like watching this. I keep I keep just not having the time to to like, sit down and watch episodes. So I'm gonna try to try to crank them out hopefully over the weekend or something. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the videos, make sure to drop a sub, like the video, comment uh, what I should check out in the future. Um, I think we're gonna probably the next show that's not like Legend of Korra will probably be uh, uh, Doctor Who. I, I think that comes out like in the coming days or weeks, right? I think I think it's May that comes out. I should double check that. But yeah, we'll, we'll have that up at whenever that's out. Um, and then yeah, I'm I'm trying to get Dune uh, Dune Part Two up. Um, just yeah, like I was saying, I, I haven't had a ton of time to sit down and watch a, a movie, and then editing a movie obviously is gonna take a lot longer than a. A TV show so yeah but that'll be the first movie we do hopefully do more movies as well in the future I'd like to get at least like one or two up a month ideally for movies because there's a lot of a lot of good movies and like I mean I've seen so many like yeah if you guys yeah I, I'm a huge reactor or react fan so like I've, 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 I've seen most movies that people react to so um, but there are there are a few big movies I haven't seen that I'll probably need to do in the future that that would be good to do like like I've seen so many movies but I've also there's just random like every like every year or so has like one giant movie that I never watched that I that I need to watch so yeah I'll probably make a list of stuff and maybe we can do a little poll or something for the movie we do each every month or one or two per month maybe um yeah anyways one to there thanks for watching have a good one everyone.